And we are back with Kate Rockwell, currently playing Karen Smith in Mean Girls. Look, you're on the poster. I know, look, there I am. <laughs> Mom, I'm on the poster. <laughs> Broadway dreams come true. You can still wind up on a Broadway poster. Can you believe it? It's just like, <laughs> you, you finally let go of that dream when you realize that like that's not the way it usually works. And right. then like one day they put up your face on yeah. a billboard and you're like, oh my God, it's me. <laughs> there it is. So how is it going? You're opening this we week. We open on Sunday. Yes. It's going so well. Yeah. It's such a wonderful show, honestly. And I mean, I get to say that because I'm in it and I feel like I have to say that. But, um, you know, Mean Girls is such a big part of my life when I was growing up. Okay. And when I heard that this piece was being done, this was, you know, five or six years ago when the rumors started going mm -hmm. around that they wanted to do Mean Girls musical, I was like, I will... No, like Tanya Harding some needs to get in this show. It is like for <laughs> sure the thing I have to be a part of. And then now all these years later, like here I am actually doing it and it is the most exciting project I've ever been a part of. It's so joyful. So when you thought I need to be in that, <laughs> did you think Karen? You know? Or I mean, cause that's interesting. I mean, you could you could have played a lot of different characters in this I show. Think I think, you know, I think what I love about getting to be Karen is that this gives me an opportunity to explore comedy in a way that I've never really been able to do mm -hmm. before. And I love comedy. Comedy is a puzzle. And it's, it's about being honest and about being simple and about being natural, but it's also scientific, you know, mm -hmm. like laughter is a science. Mm -hmm. and, and so for my like puzzle brain, that is so much fun to sort of like change one little thing and see how that affects the joke and then change this little thing and see which one plays and yeah. learning to read an audience. So it's been a real challenge for me in that mm -hmm. way and a real sort of exploration of a, of a new side of being a musical theater actor. Mm -hmm. um, and so that has been, such a cool opportunity. I don't know that I thought that's where I would end up right. five or six years ago when right. I heard about it, but um, I'm so grateful that I'm there. I love her so much. And this creative team has has really trusted me with her and mm -hmm. let me play. You'll, I don't want to give too much away. Right. <laughs> right. But, she's, um, she's a fun girl. She's a lot of fun. <laughs> and truly, they've let, me, they've let me really kind of go hog wild in certain ways um, that I think has given her even a little more um, fire than yeah. and oomph than maybe yeah. you know we would have thought in the beginning. Well, I think you figured out the puzzle. There are no missing pieces <laughs> because you are <laughs> hilarious you. in the Thank part. Thank you. I mean, hilarious. So I have to ask about the Tina Fey factor. That, yes. that was sort of like the number one thing when you get cast in Mean Girls. And I remember when the workshop was happening and the readings were happening. You because you were you've been involved. You were involved. I got involved first in 2015. Wow. I actually looked this up the other day because I wanted to know exactly the first day that I got an email that said Tina Fey was wondering, and I forwarded. Tina that Tina email Fey to everyone I knew. <laughs> wow. She was wondering. Tina if Fey was you wondering if you would come in and read uh, the role of Karen Smith for this table read that we're doing. And this was again back in the summer of 2015. Had I was you auditioned in, or Tina Fey knew This you? was um, because I have worked in the past with Nell Benjamin, right. who does the lyrics. Yeah, you were in Legally Blonde. Mm -hmm, I was in yep. Legally Blonde, and which is um, great because you were in college ten years ago. And now you're in high school. So right. It's like an actor's dream. Right. It's I'm, amazing. I'm literally reverting back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And no one's questioning and it. And no one seems to mind, <laughs> which is lovely. Don't think too hard about that. <laughs> um, but so I think, you know, Nell had sort of recommended me as somebody that could come in and do this table read. And then I got to meet Tina and Casey. I'd never worked with Casey either. Nicola. Um, Nicola, our director. And um, I sort of spent the entire time like this, like just like wide eyed, but like trying to pretend like I was being cool. <laughs> And, so not cool. Um, and then, you know, a couple years later when they came back around to doing the full production, um, I did go back in and I did re audition mm -hmm. and go through the kind of the normal process. And what was so, s I, call it, I say sad because I met Tina doing that table read, but when I went back in to audition, um, I full on panicked and did my entire audition to Tina, not the reader. And not like an actor does an audition. I just stared at her. Well, instead of ignoring the obvious elephant in the room, let's just stare at her. I just stared at her. <laughs> and I did all my lines to her. It was probably one of the worst auditions I've ever done. I walked out and was like, I, blew, I, I just blew it. What happened to you? You've met her before. This isn't the first time you've ever seen her in a room. And I just like fully panicked. And thank God they let me come back. Did you make her laugh? Again. Did you make her laugh while you were looking at her? I think she was probably intensely uncomfortable. It's there. really not a pleasant experience <laughs> to have an actor deliver too many lines to your face aggressively without blinking. So, so. what were you like in high school? Oh, oh, it's so sad. <laughs> there's, a, there's a photo out there because we used them for 
press stuff for uh -huh. Mean Girls. Uh -huh. I was very awkward. Okay. Um, I had no eyebrows. This is like a thing. I don't know. As someone taught me that you're supposed to tweeze your eyebrows when you were in high school, but I like tweezed them. Oh. So they started like here. Oh, wow. Um, I had braces, of course, okay. and then expander. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm yeah, sorry. Ohio sorry. in the uh, <laughs> late 90s was a really awkward time. Did you do musicals? I did. What that did was you? my place. That well, was like, I was always. You, what kind of roles did you do? We did a production of Two by Two. Oh, that a real, rare, that a rare hit musical Danny Kay musical, and yeah. I played Goldie, the um, not prostitute, because we were in high school. I played a uh, tree and was revised my freshman year. That was a big one. Mm -hmm. so you got the big roles. Wait, ready for this though? When I was fourteen, <laughs> I played Grandma Seidel in Fiddler on the Roof. You really are going backwards. I really am. My you're going to play Annie ever. next. I was dead. You're going to do Annie in ten and years. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going backwards. I've never actually thought about that, but you're right. I have literally reverted all the way back. I love that. Yeah, yeah, all it's good stuff, fun great to stuff. Think about Mean Girls getting done in high schools. Which it will. It absolutely will. And it yeah. should, frankly, yeah. because while this definitely is a show that adults will appreciate the humor, and I think maybe you can appreciate it in a different way when you've lived through mm. high school mm -hmm. and you can yes. look back on it and laugh. Yes. Um, I do think that it really re resonates with age appropriate mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. because it's just so honest and mm -hmm. so genuine. And Tina worked really hard to make sure that 15 years after the film, can you believe that, um, that it was still current for them and right. that they could still really identify with what it was like to be in high school. Yeah. Opening night is mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you wearing? This is a big. This is a big event. I can't tell. Okay, you. but you have it all figured out. Uh, I have some of it figured out. I won't say I have all of it. Okay. I need a shoe. Oh, okay. A shoe can't still. Help you. I, I know you don't have anything <laughs> I can borrow. Um, but no, I'm really excited about it. It's uh, it's it's cool. We're do, we're doing you know it's Mean Girls musical, so it's like easy to walk in and be like pink. But right. um, I I think we're all sort of trying to steer away from that a little mm -hmm. bit and give a little bit of something different. Um, and a little more like cool, cool kid. Awesome. So I'm, <laughs> if I can, <laughs> you can tell by me saying that how cool I really am because I <laughs> use the word like that. Uh, so we'll see how I do, but <laughs> I'm excited about it. It's gonna be I'm really fun. I'm excited for you. This is such a great opportunity for you. I've loved you in so many things over the years. So Thanks. I'm so thrilled that you're on the poster. <laughs> Look at that. It all worked out. Just <laughs> laughing at my hair like it's telling a really funny joke. <laughs> Everyone, go see Kate in Mean Girls at the August Wilson Theater on Broadway. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me.